Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will talk about how to set up your conversion campaign using Facebook advertising to generate sales for ClickBank affiliate marketing business. So have you ever found yourself pouring cash into affiliate marketing only to see zero results? It's a real head scratcher, right? So imagine this, you're shelling out money for ads, hoping they will lead to sales. Instead, after spending hundreds of dollars to generate sales, you end up frustrated and no sales and simply give up. But guess what? There's a system that works if you do this correctly from the start. What if I told you there's a way to turn the tide? Yup, you heard me right. So picture this, you're pulling in those sweet commissions without burning a hole in your wallet. Sounds like a dream, right? So the secret, it's all about Facebook advertising and ClickBank affiliate marketing. So you don't need to spend time creating a product, no blogging, no email lists are needed to generate sales. Think about it. With billions of people scrolling through Facebook every day, there's a sea of potential buyers just waiting for the right offer to catch their eye. So why not dive in and tap into that gold mine? So with ClickBank and Facebook ads in your toolbox, you are on your journey to make ClickBank affiliate marketing business a success. But don't just take my word for it. It's time to roll up your sleeves, dive in, and start making those affiliate marketing dreams a reality. Now, what are the Facebook ads metric to track when you start your Facebook advertising to generate sales? So these are the metrics that you want to track. First is your ad set name, CPC, this is cost per click, CTR, CTR is link click through rate, and then CTR all, and then CPM, this is cost per 1,000 impressions, and link clicks. So what we want here, our cost per click, we want it under $1. And then for the CTR, this is the link click through rate, we want 7 to 12%. So same thing with CTR all, at least 7 to 12% or a bit higher. And then for the CPM, this is cost per 1,000 impression, we want it at least at the range of $30. So before you start running your ad campaign, so make sure that you set this up. So how to set this up, you can just go to your ad account in Meta and then you will see here columns. And then just click this column and then just scroll all the way down and click this customize columns. So you can just go and put here all those metrics that you want to add in your own Facebook data set. So you can just type here like CPC, check CPC cost per link click and it will be added here. And then like CTR, so just click CTR all and CTR link click through rate, CPM. So you will choose CPM cost per 1,000 impressions and link clicks. So you will see your columns here. And then once you have your columns set here, you can just go and click Save as Column Preset. And then when you click this one, you can just name this anything. So like in my case, I just put it my KPIs. KPI means Key Performance Indicator and then just click Apply. Now, if you already watched our previous lesson, then you already fill out your Facebook Ads Planner. So if you haven't done that, make sure that you go back first and fill up your Facebook Ads Planner. So at this point of time, make sure that you already have your five creative to test. You already know who to target. So this is your audience and you already know your budget. So in my case, I already created my ad creatives here, I have videos and I have image to test. And I also drafted my ad copy here. All I need is just pull all this information when I start creating my conversion campaign. Once you already have all these things ready, your images, your creative, your target audience, headline, ad copy, and done warming up your ad account, then you are ready to set up your conversion campaign. So let me show you how you can create your conversion campaign. So make sure that you are in businessfacebook.com and here you will see, click this all tools, click this ads manager, make sure that you have your right account here. So there are three levels here, campaigns, ad sets and ads. So if you are brand new creating your first conversion campaign, you will see nothing here. Okay. So this is my testing account. 
So all you need is go here under campaigns and just click create. So you will see here there is a buying type. You will see auction. So just keep this as default. Just keep it as auction. This is where you will choose a campaign objective. So what we want is to generate sales. So we do not want to click like awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, a promotion. So what you want to click here is sales. Click sales, click continue. And then Facebook Meta will ask you choose a campaign setup. So there will be advantage plus shopping campaign here. So you do not want this. What we want is click here. You will see down here manual setup. So just click this manual sales campaign and then just click continue. So this is where you will name your new sales campaign. So what is your campaign name? So let's say you want to name this as conversion. So you can name your campaign anything as you wish. And then here you will see special ad category. So in this special ad category, you don't need to do anything. So you will see here categories, declare category if applicable. So just keep this as default. Next is you will see here campaign details. So buying type, we will just leave this as auction. And you will see here campaign objective sales so make sure that your campaign objective it shows here sales and then use a catalog just leave this off and then when you click this more you will see here campaign spending limit so we do not want to set any campaign spending limit here so just keep this as is none added a b testing we do not want to use this leave this as default and then advantage campaign budget just leave this as default so you are now set in campaign level click next you will see that you are in your ad set level so ad set name so just go back to your facebook ad planner and this is where you will go and copy your ad set name i will just copy my ad set name and go back to facebook and I will just paste my ad set name here. I will also copy my creative to test. So I will have my reference here when I see my ad set. And then paste my creative and then just go back here. I will also put my audience. So I'll just copy my audience and go back to Facebook. And I'll just paste it here. So by doing this, by watching your ad set later on, you can identify what are those variables that you use for this ad set and then you will see here conversion what you want to click here is website so we will drive traffic to our landing page and then performance goal what you want here is maximize number of conversions you need to choose your pixel here if you do not know how to create your pixels I have this affiliate marketing Clickbank success guide this is a complete guide where you can learn everything about affiliate marketing with Clickbank using Facebook ad so I will just put the link below this video to check out what are those things that I have covered here so here pixel make sure that you choose your pixel and then conversion event select an event or search by name so what we want here is purchase so just click purchase and then you just ignore this one cost per result goal so you do not want to put anything here and when you click this more you will see here the attribution setting set by facebook meta so just keep this as is and then for dynamic creative make sure that this one is off and then here for the budget and schedule then you can just use your daily budget set here so like for me, for example, my budget per day is $20. Then I'll just put here $20. Schedule start date. Normally what I do, I will just start my campaign the next day. So for example, today is April 8th. So I will set it tomorrow, April 9th. And I normally start it at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'll just put here AM. Normally I don't put an end date here because what I want is to run this without touching it for two days. And then after two days, if my metrics doesn't meet my rule, like my CPC is higher than $1 or my click-through rate is below 7%, then that's the only time I will turn off this ad campaign. But if let's say that ad set generates sales for me, let's say two to three sales, then I will continue running it and scale up. So that's why I do not set an end date here. And you will see here hide options. When you click this, you will see your audience control. 
So what you want is to click this one. So you can set your target location here. So I'll just delete this one. Normally, if I am promoting weight loss product, I normally start with United States. So you will see here the estimated audience. It's 246 million to 289 million. So if let's say you already do your homework, let's say we go to Google Trends and you already research about your product, let's say you're promoting Lean Belly Juice or Pure Revive or Sugar Defender, then you can just type your search term here and then go for United States for the past 12 months and you will see here the interest over time. You will see the interest by sub-region. You can also target this sub-region. So for example, this one is Nebraska or Utah. So you go back to your locations here. Let's say you want to target Nebraska, Nebraska, United States. So you will see your estimated audience 1.4 to 1.7. And then let's say you want to add Utah, then you can just go here and add Utah, United States. So you will see your estimated audience become 3.8 to 4.4. And then when you scroll down here, you will see here more. You will see languages. Click edit. So what we want here is English all. So just click English all. And you will see this advantage plus audience. So click this one. And this is where you will enter your target age. So just click edit and choose my target audience from age 35 to 65 plus. This will be depending on who is your target audience. And then gender, when you click this edit, this is where you can choose men, women, or all. So in my case, I am using all gender. And then detailed targeting. So this is where I will put my interest. So for example, my interest here is desserts. So I will have here desserts and then I'll click this one. And also I want to target people who like diet coke. Scroll down. If this is your first campaign, you can just use advantage plus placements. And then once you're done, go here and click add. This is where you will create your ad. So you can just put your ad name here and then partnership ad, then leave this off. And then for Facebook page, just choose your Facebook page here. When you click this drop down arrow, ad set up, create ad, and we choose manual upload. And then for format, single image or video. Make sure that you have your creatives ready. Either this is an image or a video. So in my case, I already have my video creative here. So all I need is I will just click this add media and I'll just click add video. And then I'll just click this upload video. My creative number 10P, I'll just upload this one. And you will see here that it is currently uploading. And you will see here primary text. So if you already prepare your ad copy, so in my case, I already have my ad copy here. So I'll just copy this. So make sure that you already have your ad copy ready. So just copy that and then go back here and you will see here primary text and just paste it here. Facebook Meta will give you suggested text variation. So just ignore this one. You need to test one variable at a time and then your headline so i already have my headline prepared here so i'll just copy my headline and paste it here in headline and then description i normally don't put anything here but if you want to put anything it's all up to you but for me personally i just leave this blank and then call to action so what we want here is learn more just click learn more and then just go down to destination this is where you will paste your URL from your tracking software. So in my case, I am using ClickMagic. This is the landing page that I have created using WordPress and Elementor. So this is also included in my affiliate marketing program on how you can create your own affiliate marketing niche website. So this is where I use WordPress as well as Elementor. What I will do is I will just copy my URL and you need to have your tracking software so you will know where's the sales coming from. So when you know and when you generated two to three sales from this ad set, that's the time you will scale up your ad campaign. Go to campaigns and then you will see these tools. Click this drop down arrow and just go here, URL builder. So you can enter your landing page URL here. So in my case, I will just copy the URL from my landing page here and I'll just paste the URL here. UTM source, this is where I will put Facebook. UTM medium, I will just put here the creative that I am testing 
and I'll just put it here. UTM campaign, let's say this is my LB ad set to and you will see here click magic will generate my URL with UTM parameters. So all I need is I will just copy and save this one. So I'll just save and copy this. And this is the URL that I'm going to place here in website URL here in Facebook. So I'll just paste it here. And then display link, I will just put my website URL here. And here you'll see browser add-ons. So just click none and then languages off. So make sure that you have your correct tracking pixel here. So if everything is okay, then just click publish and then now it's publishing you can click this view details you will see your ad confirmation here and then just click done and then just click x and once you're done you will see here that this ad is processing and once facebook approve it you will see it like for here i have two ad sets that are scheduled so if you have any questions along your journey just leave me a comment below or if you have anything that you want me to cover on my next video just let me know so make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss my clickbank affiliate marketing videos clickbank made easy will give you the key to generate passive income online so you can travel